I'm Quinn Eller. I'm Josh Bedsworth. And this is our RoboCell product sorter. Intellitech asked students to create a project that displayed what they had learned in RoboCell. For our project, we made a product sorter assembly line. Um, so in the real world, this could sort anything based on weight sensors or barcode sensors. But for our project, we uh, chose to use color sensors. Um, in the real world, for example, it could be used to sort like cups and plates. So maybe a cup and a plate comes down the assembly line, but based on their weight, it sorts them into two different piles where they're packaged differently or maybe go and are added to on another assembly line. So our project has many real world applications and we think it could be used in industry. Alright, so over here, this is our program. I'm going to talk a little bit before I actually start the program. So up here, we have to we first have to set the variables. So what's setting the variable is instead of, so it, um, basically what it does is um, whenever you have a position, instead of saying go to position 1, you can just say go to position X or go to this variable. So what we did to set the first variable was we had these two feeders down here and they, uh, they randomly pop out uh, red or yellow blocks and we randomly put the positions 1 from 10. Um, on the blocks. So whenever they pick it up, it will be position one, and the next one will be position two. And then, and then after that, we have a loop over here. And so, what a loop is is basically it's a it's a like a bunch of programming lines that um, it just repeats itself over and over, and like as long as you want it to, which just shortens the length of uh, uh, like the amount of code you have to do, which it makes it a lot easier and a lot simpler. And I have, we have a couple of different loops in here. So this is our basic, or like our main loop. And what it does is it'll pick up the block and it'll put on the conveyor belt and then it'll go down the conveyor belt. And then at the end of the conveyor belt, there'll be a sensor. And then depending on what the sensor is, we have some, we have different, we have two other loop programs, which is red and there's also a yellow one down here, which I'll show you, which is exactly the same as the red one. It's right here. So the red and yellow are exactly the same. And then, depending on what color it is, it'll go back up to the loop program, and then it'll just run, run through the program again. And then after everything's done with, it'll just go to the end, end program. So I'm going to start the program here just to show you what it does. So first off, the robotic arm goes down, and it'll go to the first variable, which is position 1. And it'll pick up the old block, and then it'll go over to the conveyor belt, and it'll set it down. And then the program, the conveyor belt, to move along, until it reaches the end of the conveyor belt. And then the sensors will trigger, and depending on the trigger, um, it'll go into the sub-program. So it detected that it was yellow. So it went to this yellow sub-program, which is another loop program. We just call it yellow for the label. And it picks it up and it puts it in a block, into a bin. Sorry. And then it just repeats the program. And now, the variable is set to 2, so it goes to position 2. Because up here in the loop program, we uh, reset the variable. So whenever uh, it goes back to the loop program, it adds 1, meaning that instead of going to, to variable 1, it goes to variable 2, which is the same as position 2, which uh, we just randomly set as, at the feeders, which had, happened to be the red one. So it went to uh, the second variable, picked it up, and then put it on the conveyor belt. And uh, the program will just keep repeating itself until we tell it to stop whenever or whatever. And in this uh, program, we told it to pick up six different blocks and put them in their designated bins. And so to do that, what we had to do is in the main loop program down here, we had um, we had jump to. Oh yeah, down in each of the sub-programs, we have a if statement that says if um, if if the variable is bigger than six, it'll it'll jump to another loop program, which is called just called the end program, which basically just moves the robotic arm back to the home position and it'll stop the program and it's done. And so basically, this whole program just sums up the the conveyor belt and the uh, the robotic arm sorter. And that's our program. So yeah, uh, you can see it sorted out the, uh, the different colored blocks. So uh, yeah, again.
again, we think this could be used in industry a lot of different ways. Thanks for listening to our program. Have a good day.